This is the CSU Pueblo University Library Quick Class on how to evaluate websites. So why is this worth knowing? Well, there's a lot of information online. Even a basic search will return millions if not billions of results. The problem is that some of those sources are great and some of them are not. Knowing how to evaluate these websites will make sure that you're citing the best sources that are available. So when we talk about basic web search tools, they're going to find a lot of different kinds of sources. It's important to remember that different websites are better for different things. The point of this class is to discuss some of the more common types of websites, as well as give you some rules to use when evaluating online information. First, wikis, online encyclopedias, and question and answer websites are really helpful if you need a quick introduction to a topic. They tend to appear near the top of the results list, and they're very easy to read. The only issue with these sources is that they sometimes contain errors, so it's important to make sure that they've cited their sources and you can verify the accuracy of what you're reading. Government sites are helpful because they provide official policies and laws as well as reliable statistics. There's a lot of other things included on government websites, so it's worth exploring them. Professional organization websites include information geared towards people working in specific professions. So depending on what it is you're researching, you might find things on organizational websites that you wouldn't find anywhere else. These are also really excellent sources to use. So then there's everything else on the internet. Some of these sources are very reliable and very helpful, others are downright scary. So when you're thinking about these websites, or any of these other sources that we've just discussed, it's important to ask yourself a few questions. First, who made this website? If you can't identify the individual or organization that created it, this can be a cause for concern. The second question is, why did they make this website? What is their motivation? Are they trying to sell you something? Are they trying to convince you of a certain viewpoint? Or are they just trying to be helpful? Finally, and this is maybe the most important question to ask, where did they get their information? Are they including citations to their sources? Are they telling you anything about how they came to their conclusions? If you don't know where they got their information, don't rely on what you're reading. Again, there's a lot of information on the internet. Some of it is helpful, some of it isn't. If you have any questions on how to evaluate a website, ask a librarian. We're happy to help.